guys greetings from Munich Bavaria so um, Mark and I are here in Munich for like a five-day trip it's, this is where we decided to take our like one of our holidays this year and yeah um, we arrived yesterday and Mark is there behind me <laughs> So we arrived yesterday and uh, yeah, today we went to the Deutsche Museum and then uh, like right now we're just walking about in the city, you know, trying to explore the city which is nice. I know there's a lot of construction going on but uh, yeah, as you see I'm dressed like somebody who's still in the winter. The weather was good like the last uh, week but right now um, yeah the sun is coming through which is nice but it has been really cold in the morning tomorrow we expect it to be nice but yeah we're in München just exploring and hope to bring you some more so stay tuned so guys the first place that we visited during our trip to München was of course the German Museum which had so much to offer it was like uh, mostly you know things to do with science and um, it's a place that you definitely would want to visit especially if you have children of school going age um, there was of course a floor dedicated to aeroplanes uh, you know like the older models that were used uh, before that were either produced like uh, made in Germany or used by the Germans there were also you know chemistry labs uh, bio labs there were musical labs, uh, there was floors, like so very many different things to see that you just need to visit the place to like see for yourself, but it's a place that you can definitely spend the entire day. To me, I found it very interesting. This was a sample space station and I, I just, it's a shame that it did not take enough uh, images, but this was me trying to fly a plane. So there's so much of, uh, you know, like, activities like those that you could experiment and I found it absolutely interesting. It's today's second day of vacation and um, we're waking up bright and early. I didn't get to show you the tour of the room but right now everything is everywhere. We messed up. <laughs> but yeah, we're staying at um, Holiday Inn somewhere in the city and today we are going to the mountains. We are gonna go take the cable train somewhere and then go to the lake side because the weather is good the sun is finally out it's brighter it's better so yeah come along so then on this day we were going to the mountains yeah the train has arrived <laughs> So now we are at the Alps, as you can see there. <laughs> yeah, uh, let, let me look this other side. As you can see, um, there is snow at the top and somewhere over there. Oh, I lost it. But somewhere over there, then there is the highest uh, point, like that is the highest mountain in Germany. So yeah, the weather is still nice and uh, fresh. At least I've been able to remove my jacket. Uh, it's a little bit sunny but of course we are at the mountains and it's a little bit cloudy but still a very agreeable day it's taken us like one and a half hours from mission Hauptbahnhof or the main train station to get to this point it was like okay no connection just a straight train up to it's called Garmisch Pay something <laughs> so now we are going to like the ski station or something like that and then sort of take the cable train and go to the high mountains <laughs> so that is what we are doing today 
and yeah so far so good especially because of the weather and we basically chose today because not all the days are actually like forecasted to be sunny yesterday as you saw it was really cloudy i had to like have on um a sweater and a jacket but today my jacket is actually ah just for you know for just in case it's on my waist but uh, mark is right there behind me and we are almost at the ski station so let's go see what Bayern has to give yeah so those are the Alps and a ski truck the green one the bright green one over there yeah we are closer So now we have reached the, the ski station. Where are they? The ski stations. But of course, there is no snow because it's springtime coming on to summer. And yeah, it looks sort of abandoned, but just like a great sight to see. Not so many people around here. But yeah, usually during winter, those are the ski spots filled with snow and people can ski. It would be nice to return during winter <laughs> if I finally learn <laughs> how to ski. But at the moment, that is just about it. At the train station, and we want to take a cable train all the way up there. All the way up there. You know what? Those cable trains that you see on TV, <laughs> we want to take one of those. I don't know how much a ticket, co a ticket costs, but we're going to see soon. But yeah, that should be fun. So. That is, this is the spot. We actually chose to walk. This is a possibility to take a bus all the way here, but yeah, it was one kilometer. The weather is nice. So, let's go. Oh, there there are some arriving. So, ah, arriving and departing. All right. So, yeah, those are some of those cable trains. Already one is departing. Two of them are departing. And this is the tourist information center. I guess where we need to buy the tea. Yeah, so I'm just gonna check and see what is behind here. But it's really beautiful at this time of the year with all the greeneries and all that stuff. Yeah, this is now the ski station. Oh man, oh man, for all the ski sports and all that. Oh, amazing so they jump all the way from up there and the ski and they land here and yes the cable trains they are over there going all the way up and uh, that's also another ski uh, terrain where it's usually filled with snow during winter and again they still land down here Like uh, 1,200 meters 
above <laughs> the ground and now you can see we are very close to the like to the uh, mountain top yeah so this is not even zoomed in here very close to the mountain top it's a little bit chilly i'm about to put on my jacket but we made it to the mountain this is actually my very first time to go on vacation <laughs> at the mountains usually um we always go to the seaside 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 but yeah good experience and yeah the mountains are like right there and with snow it looks really amazing and also not so many people so of course a very good place to go on vacation when you are in germany or when you're at least in munich So now guys, after going all the way up with the cable train, we are going down like we are now descending uh, by f on foot, like walking down, but it's quite nice because of the, how the way, the, the way is like, choo -choo, you go zigzag all the way down and then we are going to get like, um, I don't know, after 45 minutes or 30 minutes to the next train station go down a little bit because yeah it's a quite some distance and then continue 20 minutes until we get back to the initial station and yeah somebody is on a beer break <laughs> and the sun is out so nice so i'm not freezing anymore the goose pimples are gone but so far fresh <laughs> So guys, we finally got to the next <laughs> to the next uh, place where we can take the train down. <laughs> so yeah, that has been walking maybe I think an hour or 45 minutes or more, but it has been nice because it is, um, of course, down downhill or down the mountain. And now this is like sort of a hotel. We are gonna like look for something to maybe eat, drink, ease ourselves, and go down. So right over there, <laughs> ah, there is a nice restaurant where we want to stop and have something to eat before we continue <laughs> with the journey. But to be honest, I'm not tired because maybe it was really cool. And uh, yeah, it was cool. It was not so hot. And we were going down, downhill or down the slope or down the mountain, as you call it. So, so far, I feel good. Maybe I will feel the heat at the end of the day, but so far... Still so good. down from the next station uh, the train is going back or <laughs> see the table yeah it's the cable train is going back so now we shortened the distance by taking that train from that station to here we shortened the distance down the mountain to about 30 minutes and then now we can walk another 45 minutes and uh, yeah and then be able to get down so it's been a very active <laughs> to be honest a very active wall up because yesterday we, i ended up hitting like 18 thousand steps plus just walking around but yesterday is actually walking around the museum and the city and just that and yeah there is a car uh, like a horse driven cart over there looks interesting <laughs> looks really interesting but i've already taken something like that uh, in qatar so yeah help us but yeah so we continue going down the mountain <laughs> <laughs> 
and all that it's getting a little bit chilly so of course I have uh, put on my yeah it's getting a little bit chilly so of course I'll put on my jacket and uh, yeah I, I just want to say that it's been a really exciting day up the mountains and then coming back was a little bit difficult for me because um, my shoes started to hurt because going downhill I had to push my legs forward you know to get a good grip of going down the mountain and uh, now I feel like my, 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 my fingernails you know the toenails are hurting a little bit so but the good thing is that now after you like using the cable train to go down from the hotel to the that small you know uh, the, 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 the next place then now the rest of the trip we took the horse ride which was really nice so thank you so much for hanging out with us today i hope you enjoyed this video um just like a part of our trip from bayern do not forget to leave a like comment share subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye